In this lesson, we are going to discuss basic conversions in the metric system. The first question that you may ask is, what is the metric system? Now, it is very important to remember that in the metric system, it is based on the number 10. There is other systems for measurements as well, where it is not based on the number 10, such as the imperial system. That we will discuss in a other lesson. Now, examples of measurements in the metric system are meters, grams, and liters. I'm going to refer to meters, grams, and liters as the base unit. You will see a little bit later on why. The metric system is one of the most commonly used systems in the world, and South Africa also opted to use this system. Let us do some examples. If I am going to measure distance, distance is measured in, in meters. I'm talking about meters as the base unit. But now, beside this base unit, I can also get smaller and bigger versions of the unit, such as millimeter, centimeter, Meter is the base, and then kilometer. Distance is any, 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 at any stage when you move from one point to another, you are covering a distance. A second uh, measurement that we are um, going to look at is that of mass. Mass is if you are going to check how heavy something is. And here we use the base unit, gram. Besides the base unit gram, I can go smaller and use milligram, gram is the base, or I can go bigger and use kilogram. Volume is the third one that we are going to look at. Volume show us what is the, um, how full something is, or how much fluid do we get if we are, for example, buying cool drink or if we are filling the bathtub with water and so on. The base unit there is liter, but we also get milliliter and kiloliter. You will see in the case of mass and volume, I'm not using the centi that I'm also having in distance. Now, centi is present here, but for the purposes of mathematical literacy, we do not work with centi, uh, centigram and centiliter. So, I'm going to skip uh, those two uh, quantities. Okay, the base units is then meter, gram and liter. Let us start first of all with meter. If something is very big, then we are going to call it a kilometer. The same for grams. If something has a big mass, we are going to express it in kilogram and liter. If it's a very big volume of uh, fluid, we are going to express it in kiloliter. If we have smaller amounts, we are going to use the centi, such as centimeter. I already told you that we do get centigram and centiliter, but that we do not usually make use of it in mathematical literacy. And even if we go smaller, smaller, we will get millimeter, milligram, and milliliter. Distance, if I move from point A to point B, say for instance, from your house to the school, you cover a certain distance. Or from your house to the city, you cover a certain distance. Let me give you an example of distances. Large distances, for example, can be when you travel from your house to the city. In this case, we will use kilometer to express the distance. If you are in a room and you walk from one side of the room to another side of the room, you will probably use meter to express the distance. If you are looking in your textbook or in your workbook and you draw a line, then you would maybe prefer to use centimeter to measure the length of that line or that distance. And say for instance you are having a very small distance that you want to measure, like the length of a fly, then you are going to use the smallest distance um, unit and that is millimeter. We also use it in cases where we want to be more accurate. Mass, let us just do examples of mass. 
Kilograms, what will I measure in kilograms? We will, for example, measure your body mass in kilograms. If you go and you buy a packet of sweets, Smarties, or something like that, or you buy a chocolate bar, such as Aero or um, Lunch Bar, you will probably measure that uh, uh, mass in gram. And finally, if you are busy baking a cake and you need a very little bit of, for example, salt. Remember, if we put too much salt, it's never nice. But just a little bit of salt, we will say we need so many milligram of salt. Volume. Kiloliter we use for big volumes. Like example, when we want to say how much water is in a dam. Liter, we use for the smaller volumes, for example, if I want to say how much water is in a kettle or in a pot on the stove. Milliliter, we use for the smallest volumes. For example, again, when you are baking a cake and you only want to have a cup of milk or a cup of uh, vinegar that you are going to put into that cake. Let us discuss now how we are actually going to do the conversions. Now, if we are converting in the metric system, you are going to have to convert from memory. So what I'm going to tell you at the end of the day about conversion factors, you are going to have to remember that. Now, let us say for now, we make our base unit a heart, an ordinary heart. If you have an extremely big heart, you will express it as a kilo heart. A smaller heart can be expressed as a centi heart and a smaller, smallest heart will be a milli heart. We have the kilo, the heart, the centi heart and the milli heart. If I go from the kilo heart to the heart, there is a conversion factor of 1000. If I go from the heart to the centi heart, there is a conversion factor of 100. And if I go from the centi heart to the milli heart, there is a conversion factor of 10. If I am moving in this direction, from this very big unit to the smaller sides, I always multiply. Let us look if I move in the opposite direction. If I'm moving from a milli heart to a centi heart, the conversion factor is 10. If I move from a centi heart to a heart, the conversion factor is 100. If I move from a heart to a kilo heart, the conversion factor is 1000. Can you see that every time one zero is lost, if I move from left to right, a thousand, a hundred, a ten, it's the same in both cases. But look now, if I move from this side to that side, in other words, from a small unit to a bigger unit, I divide instead of multiplying. Let us do some examples to practice this. Let us see what we are going to do if we move from one of the units to the other. The base in this case is the heart. Remember, I've got my kilo heart, my heart, my centi heart and my milli heart. If I move from the kilo heart to the heart, from the kilo heart to the heart, I move in that direction. So what must I do? I must multiply by 1000. All right, let's go now for real. Remember in the place of the heart, I can put a gram, I can put a meter, or I can put a liter, depending on what it is that I'm measuring. Let us start with a gram. Say for instance, I want to convert 10 kilogram to gram. What will the conversion factor be? What must I do with the 10 kilogram to put it into gram? Now, here is my kilo. In the place of the heart, I can now have a gram. So here is my kilogram and there is my gram. What do I do if I move from kilogram to gram? I move in that direction, I multiply with 1,000. 
and the answer will be 10,000 um, gram. So 10 kilogram is the same as 10,000 gram. Okay. If I am going to move from kilometer to meter, now the base unit is meter. In the place of the heart, you can put a meter. I want to go from kilometer to meter. What must I do? I must multiply that one kilometer by 1,000. So that at the end of the day, one kilometer is 1,000 meter. 20 kiloliter to liter. Again, the heart is replaced with a liter. I'm moving from kiloliter to liter. So what must I do with the 20? I must take the 20 and I must multiply it with 1,000. So 20 kiloliter is the same as 20 thousand liter. Let us say I want to work in gram. My base unit is gram. So in the place of the heart I can put a gram. I want to go from gram to milligram. I want to convert 70 gram to milligram. I want to move from here up to there. Now I'm moving over two of these, if I can say so, spaces. If I move over the first space, you multiply by 100. And if you multiply by the second space, you multiply by another 10. So all in all, you end up multiplying with 100 and another 10. So when you move from the base unit to milli, you actually then multiply by 1000. So in the end of the day, 70 gram, I multiply it with 1000, it will be 70,000 milligram. Four liter to milliliter. Okay, I've got four liter. Liter is my base unit. I'm going from liter to milliliter. What must I do? Again, I'm moving over two spaces. So I'm going to multiply with 100 and another 10. So it's the same as multiplying with 1000. It's my four liter that I want to take. So I get five, four times 1,000, which give me 4,000 milliliter. 20 milligram to gram. This is now interesting because if I make my base unit gram, milligram is there. Milligram is there. And I want to move back to gram. So I am going to move now in this direction. And if I move in this direction, I need to divide. By what is it that I need to divide? You need to first divide by 10, there's one zero, and again you must divide by 100, two more zeros. So all in all, you must divide by 1,000 if you go from milli back to the base unit. So for 20 milligram to go to gram, I need to say 20 divide by 1000. Now if you are not comfortable doing this by hand, you can go and use your calculator and do it. Otherwise, if you are comfortable, you will know that this is 0 0,02 gram. I will suggest that you use your calculator to be sure that what you are doing is correct. 400 millimeter to meter. My base unit again now is meter, so I'm on millimeter and I want to go to meter. What must I do if I move in this direction? I divide. And if I go from millimeter to meter, I divide by 10 and another 100. So I end up dividing by 1000. So 400 millimeter, if I'm going to take it to meter, it is the same as 0 0,4 meter. If you have a problem, you can just work that out on your calculator. Now the last one I'm going to show you is a very big leap. I'm going to leap from milli to kilo. I'm going to meet, leap from milli meter to kilometer. I'm going to go all the way. Now, since I'm moving in this direction, you know I am dividing. With what am I dividing? 
dividing. You're going to divide with a 10, then a 100, and then a 1,000. So at the end of the day, you have 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. So when you are going to divide here, you are going to divide with 1 million. There are 6 zeros. I'm taking 40 millimeter to kilometer. Okay? And now you can do that on your calculator. And the answer will be, now you must just be careful. Uh, if you do it, uh, the, the calculator may tell you this. Okay? Instead of doing that, you can write that it is, if I am going to take 40 and divide it by 1 million, I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I need to put four zeros, okay? And it will become naught comma four zeros. Four kilometer. Thank you.